Hello and welcome to another E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're continuing um, looking through our RS Means guides. Okay, the search utility we're going to focus on here is favorites. All right, so we've seen index, we've got a couple more to cover, but let's jump in and see how that looks. All right, um, as all of these we're doing for the search utilities, we're going to start at the updating estimate window looking at the line items tab. All right, if you can't remember exactly how to get here, go check out some of our other videos. All right, now this allows us to open up the book and go to straight to town looking for items. How do we open up a book? That's right, we're going to right click. If we want our default guide, maybe our favorite guide, that'll be our top option there if we've set it. Or we can go down to this fourth option and select a guide to open and that'll see all of our different guides. I'm going to go ahead and use our top one, our favorite one here. We can notice right away that we've got tens of thousands of line items that we want to search through. Okay. Again, this locate field is dedicated for the line item numbers only. So if we've memorized our line item numbers, and our focus is down here, we can go 090520, and we can be in selective de demolition of flooring. If, however, we want to search for words, which we do most of the time, we're going to have to use one of our search utilities. Okay? So how do we find our search utilities? That's right. We're going to right-click here. Now, most of them are going to be under the search utilities uh, category here, but favorites, it's special, so it gets its own, right? So over here in favorites, we can see that we've got two options. One, it's going to open up the favorites we're going to use, and the second is to add or remove this item to or from favorites. So we'll take a quick look at that as well. All right, so let's hit favorites, and this allows us to open up our favorites. So what are our favorites? Our favorites, we kind of like to think of these as electronic sticky tabs, all right? If anybody has a hard copy guide on their desk, and they've got little sticky tabs, to mark different pages as you can quickly jump over there. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so these are our electronic sticky tabs. Now we hook you up with about 160 records, but then let you manage it from there. You can delete them, you can add to them, you share this as your team, so it's real nice. Okay, so let's look at how to open that again, maybe a couple different ways, and then we'll get to work. When we wrote right clicked, we saw that we came to favorites and we saw this hotkey over here, right? Control F. So we saw this again in the index in several different places. But let's look at this one more time. How do we use a hotkey? When our focus is over here in our list of items, we can hold down Control, tap F, remove our hands from both of them, and then the favorites will pop up. Pretty sweet, huh? Very nice. Okay. Another way is to use our toolbar icons, which a lot of people like, right, our mouse users. So if we come up here, we can see a bunch of different toolbar icons. There's a little folder with a big F on it, and that's our favorites. We can see the little tooltip icon pop up there when we hover over it, and that will allow us to open our favorites. We can also see, similar to index there, that there's an F plus right next to it. This allows us to add it to favorites. So say this line on right here. See how there's not an F next to the R there? If we click on the F, that'll pop a little F in there, and now we've known that we've added that line to our favorites. If we click it a second time, it'll remove the F. So that's how we add or remove an item really quick from our favorites. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's go up here to favorites. We can click on that, and again, obviously it's going to open up the favorites window. So here we've got two columns, one's for the line item number and one's for the description. What we've set up here is two tabs, one to focus on the line item number and one to focus on the description. So the locate field is going to work like all of our other locate fields. If our focus is down here, we can type 2, 6, and we've jumped to the best division in the book, right? 26. <laughs> all right. Now, we can also do it by description. So we can click on by description. I'm going to hit home just to go to the top there. We can see our focus is there. If we type C, the other C, O, N, C, you can see how we've auto-incremented through our list there, alphanumerically, and we found concrete. Anybody remember how to clear our locate field? If you said backspace, that's how we do it one at a time. So there we've got rid of the N, there we've got rid of the O, now we can also use our up and down arrow key, move through the list, and that'll clear our, our locate altogether. All right, what happens if you use your mouse and you come up here and click into the locate field? All right, so this isn't wrong, it just works a skosh different. So if we do C-O-R-E-N-T for concrete there, notice nothing happens. The window doesn't 
update automatically. Okay, it doesn't auto increment for us. What it will do is it'll update as soon as we hit the tab key on the keyboard. So over there on the left hand side of your keyboard, if we press tab, we've basically left that field and now the window will update and we can see now that we're on concrete. Pretty cool. Again, up or down arrow key will clear that out and we could go to the next one. All right, we also notice that there's a query field up there. Now the query field will look at both the item and the description, so it doesn't matter if our focus is on by item or by description. Okay, so the query field we do have to click into, but now we can come in here and we can look for multiple partial words or full words, but it'll then look for those and make sure to, re to filter out our list and only show us those. So let's do C-O-V-B-A-S. We'll press the tab key again to leave that field so the window updates, and we can see that these three items are the only ones that have words with both COV and BAS in it. Okay. Now, this is pretty nice. In the index, we saw that we um, had an index entry, and at the bottom, we showed both the item number and the full description. Here, we have the item number and the full description, but sometimes you can't always see that, depending on the size. So we'll be able to see the full description down here at the bottom, as well as any notes that we put, might put on it. So we can right-click on Change on this and add some of our own notes that will also get caught in the query process, which is pretty sweet. All right. Now, once we've found the line item we want in our favorites, how do we jump there in the book? The same way as always. Exactly. We could double-click on it. We could come down, find it, hit Enter on the keyboard to jump there. Or, this is going to shock you once more, we can right-click and we can do Locate Item and that will jump us right there into the book. Okay. And then we can go to town and add line items. Just like we saw with the index, the favorites is a sticky window. So it's going to hang out back there. So we could come back to it, maybe choose another item, or just keep um, estimating that way. So we can come back here and click on it if we want to. Or, and then choose another one maybe. Or what we could do is use any of those ways that we saw to open up our favorites. And it'll go ahead and pull that up to the front. So sometimes it'll kind of get stuck behind and you can't even see it. So either way works, and it brings those favorites up to you. Okay, pretty cool, huh? All right, so hopefully that gives you an idea of the favorites, kind of shows you how to use those and works that. All right, so we've got a couple more search utilities to look through, so go check out some of the other videos. Definitely look through the rest of these searching videos, and we hope you just have a tremendous, tremendous day. Let us know if you have any questions. You are awesome.